Hey guys, welcome back to Xiaomi India. I'm Sandeep, your host for today, and today we'll be taking you through a visual journey with this, the Mi 11 Ultra, which is the most capable and best camera phone on the market right now. Now this ranks number one on DxO Mark ratings with a total score of 143. Now that's downright impressive. Now we'll be taking you through all the samples that this has been able to capture and show you just how amazing it is and also compare it with a flagship smartphone as well as a mirrorless camera. Now before we get this started, please do make sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to avoid missing any notifications from us in the future. Now let's begin the video. Let us start by talking about the primary sensor, which is probably the camera that you would end up using the most on any smartphone. So in this case, this is the 50 megapixel Samsung GN2 sensor with a huge 1 by 1.2 inch sensor size. And that's currently the biggest sensor on any smartphone in India currently. Now I'd like to actually give a disclaimer saying that anything that's shot on the Mi 11 Ultra in this particular video will have a text call out on the bottom left corner of the screen. Now, the primary benefit of such a large sensor can be seen in challenging lighting conditions, especially the one that we encountered in Nandi Hills where there was a lot of fog. There wasn't much ambient light to work with, but the large sensor coupled with the ultra large pixel size of 1.4 microns, which becomes 2.8 microns with pixel binning, means you get plenty of light in along with good low light performance thanks to the large pixel size. Any other smartphone in this situation would have showcased a very noisy frame and not to mention inaccurate colors. The Snapdragon 888 chipset along with the triple ISP ensures great color reproduction and the Mi 11 Ultra managed to capture the true essence of nature in the shot. The dual native ISO as well as end-to-end -end HDR10 Plus ensures great dynamic range and low noise levels. The next shot showcases the beautiful bokeh as well as the shallow depth of field that you get as a result of the large sensor as well as f1.95 aperture. This shot was taken without the portrait mode believe it or not and in most situations you don't really need to make use of the portrait mode as the camera hardware is good enough to give you that naturally shallow bokeh but we do have a portrait mode as well if you want a more pronounced effect. The Mi 11 Ultra also has amazing autofocus piece thanks to the 64 point laser autofocus system and its cameras also capture tremendous amounts of detail. This is evident when you compare it to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The detail is so much crisper and better on the Mi 11 Ultra and you can see the color science is also better on the Ultra as well. Thanks to the OIS, you can also be sure that everything is as sharp as it can get because the Mi 11 Ultra cancels out any shakes or vibrations that occur during shooting. Next up is the 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera that can capture some dramatic looking landscapes and shots thanks to the ultra wide angle field of view which is at 128 degrees. The color profile is practically the same as the primary camera and as a result you feel like you're using one camera with a variable zoom range. The dynamic range is also very impressive. Oh, and I almost forgot the ultra wide angle camera has face detection autofocus and even doubles up as a macro camera. Lastly, you have the telephoto camera here, which is again a very capable 48 megapixel sensor, which has 5x optical zoom, but you can zoom all the way up to 120x, which is much better than the competition. And if you look at the output that you can get from this, it's actually much better than anything else on the market right now. In fact, looking at images shot at 5x or even 10x, they do look better than what you get with the primary cameras on most smartphones. In terms of versatility, the Mi 11 Ultra is able to capture photos that are wider and also zoom in much further than an APS-C mirrorless camera, say with an 18 to 105 mm lens. Not only that, the Mi 11 Ultra does better processing by default than what you would get with the mirrorless camera. This is because apart from hardware, you also need good software to get the best out of your camera. What this means is that you don't really have to be an expert at photography to get great results because the Mi 11 Ultra will do all that hard work for you. Now enough of hardware, let's talk a bit about software features and abilities that take the camera experience on the Mi 11 Ultra to the next level. Thanks to three high resolution sensors, you actually get 8K video recording capability across all cameras which gives high quality consistent output and it also supports HDR10 plus video. If you're feeling a bit more creative, you can make use of the Pro mode along with cinematic mode or log mode and get the best quality output possible. You can also make use of night video, clone photo and video to spice up your output or switch to movie like effects such as parallel world that looks like it came out straight from a Christopher Nolan film. You can also capture incredibly detailed time lapses with excellent dynamic range with any of the three cameras. And lastly, one party trick that you don't want to miss is basically making use of the rare OLED display to capture selfies with the primary camera. 
Now you can also make use of the ultra wide angle camera in case you're planning to take a group selfie or you can even use the telephoto camera with the rear display just for fun. So this probably felt like a lot of information to you but this doesn't even begin to scratch the surface as to just how capable the Mi 11 Ultra is. If you're looking for the best smartphone on the market, that's definitely the Mi 11 Ultra but if you're looking for the best camera that you can put in your pocket, notice how I didn't say camera phone there. Well, if you're looking for the best camera that you can put in your pocket, that again is the Mi 11 Ultra. Now if you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you again in the next one. Thanks for watching.